everyone and welcome back to Sudesia! It is a beautiful sunrise on this wonderful Friday morning here in the zoo and I cannot wait to share something very very special with you guys. Today is the day my friends, today is the day that we are going to take the golden geishals that we have gathered and we are going to try to breed a golden chocobo as a gift for Lubot. So I am very very excited, this should work I'm hoping. So first things first, hello Lily, hello Tate! We actually need, if I can find it, to dig out our Chocopedia. So let's go get our Chocopedia from Persephone, because I'm pretty sure that Persephone, uh, I put it back in the chest, if I recall. Lily Tate, my good pup pups, how are you guys doing? It looks like I have a pork chop for you. I don't remember where I got it, but that's okay. And there you go. Oops, Tate, you were more hungry. Okay, hang on, Tate, I'm sorry. I'll get you some raw fish, because you love to fish. There you go. That's better. There, my pup-ups are fed. Good, 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 good. And we had such an adventure yesterday. Oh my gosh. In fact, is Sunflower still in the pack? She is still in the pack. And that's okay. We'll take her with us. She can hang out with the other Chocobo. All right, wait, actually, Lily and Tate, you guys stay here for just a second. I'm trying to remember if there was something I needed to check on inside. Hmm, I feel like there was something, but we'll figure it out later. Because today, Persephone... There we go, Chocopedia. In fact, let's take some of our old Chocopedias and trade them since we can now trade them properly to um, the wonderful, the wonderful trades keeper. Oh my gosh, there's just so much stuff from the ducks to the wonderful Julie, Julia, I think her name is. I feel so bad. Tate, hang on. Come on, you guys. But we're going to pop over there and we are going to breed up the new chocobo. Oh, yes! I remember what we were going to do now, Lily and Tate. Oh, I'm so glad I remembered at the last second. I knew it. It was a nagging little feeling. Let me put these away real quick. We're going to go visit Dr. Nami really quickly. And we are actually... And I'm going to drink some carrot juice for healthy... Ah, healthy start to my morning, Lily and Tate. Healthy start to my morning. But let us actually head over. We're going to go see Dr. Nami. I'm going to go around this way because it's a little bit faster than me almost tumbling into that ravine yet again. And we are going... Oh, moss. I love the moss. We are going to go get the... The coral, the fish spawning coral from Dr. Nami to put into our duck exhibit. Because while the chocobos are being chocobos, because sometimes it takes a while to breed them, they have a cool down time, we will work on continuing to decorate the duck exhibit. Because I just want to get that done a little bit. All right, and then Dr. Nami's place. Veer off the trail a little bit. Not into the hole, though. Lily Tate, you guys keeping up? Lily Tate? Oh, there you are. <laughs> I was like, where'd my puppies go? Oh, we can check on Lainey. We haven't checked on Lainey in so long. We'll see if there's any eggs over there for us. All right, so let's come in. Good morning, Dr. Nami. Good morning, Pebbles. Hello, Dr. Nami. I actually am in need. Let's grab one of these corals and two of these corals. Okay, we'll get two of these, two of those, because they look like ones that you could kind of expect to see if it was inside of a... Um, like an underwater area. The kelp, not so much. Like inside of a, a freshwater lake is what I'm trying to say. Nice to see you guys. See you in a little bit. Oh my gosh. I thought that was a bird. It's just a giant awesome moth. But let's go ahead and we'll check on Lainey and see if there's any eggs from Lainey since we're over here. Also, actually, we've got more ferns that I picked up too. If we've still got them in our pack somewhere. Aha! New ferns, palmetto ferns, and maidenhair spleenwort, some of my favorites. We're going to put them around here because they are indeed ferns for the fern grotto. And that, I love these spleenworts. The spleenworts are honestly one of my favorite. But the palmentos are very appropriate, especially as external decorative pieces, for the prehistoric pathway because they have kind of that like prehistoric attitude and look to them, these palmetto ferns. Yes, these are ferns with attitude. Ah, I love plants. All right, then we're going to come over here, put a couple as the entrance. So you're like, guard the entrance. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, right, right there. Nice. All right. Good. See, those ferns were totally useful. And you guys probably were rolling your eyes at me the whole time we were collecting them. Whew. All right, so let's keep going. Lainey! Hello, Lainey! How are you? I just want to check Lily Tate sit. Lainey would think you were a good snack. Stay. Just want to check and see. I don't think Lainey could get like in here if it wanted, so I'm not too worried. Any eggs? Any eggs? Any terabird eggs? No? 
All right, Lainey, thank you so much. We still need to examine that permafrost. <gasps> I just remembered. Still need to examine that permafrost later to see if it has more of the terror bird DNA inside of it. So that'll be fun. All right, and off we go. There's sunflowers, awesome. Awesome house. There's some more bumblebees. We need to have like a little beehive full of bees. That would be really cute. And it has like a little window in it. We could build a big beehive, like a gigantic beehive. And we could like have a little window in it so you can peer inside and see all the bees buzzing around inside. I think that would be really fun, actually. We should do that. Maybe we'll do that in the area that the duck pond over here used to be. Because I was thinking it would be kind of nice to have, like, a bee exhibit. Because we're going to extend the cougar sanctuary out this way. So the cougar sanctuary is coming out towards this direction. And over here, we could probably replace this. We'll raise the ground up a little bit and we can replace it with like this cool bee exhibit with some little chairs, like little patio chairs. You can sit down, there'll be a big beehive right here. I think that'd be fun. We can have like flowers, a flower garden. So it's this nice, beautiful floral thing that you get to look at as you enter Zudesia, because this is kind of where the entrance is gonna be over here. I know, Liliante, I'm so excited. We're gonna breed up some new babies. All right, you guys ready? You had a very hard time with the, um, yes, I heard a quack. One duck, two ducks. Still have our ducks, score. We had, they have, Lily and I have had a very hard time with swimming in this lake lately. All right, you guys, hang on. Gonna come down here, put the fish spawning coral down in a couple spots, and we'll see if it works or not. We'll see if we're successful. All right, and then we're gonna come over here. One right there, come over here, one right there, and then ah, let me back up. Hello, chicken, thank you for testing the waters for us. All right, and then let's put some kelp down and some eel grass around it. You guys work on catching some fish, all right? And hopefully this will work. I'm pretty sure these are the type of, of coral that spawn the fish fish. Man, you know, I felt like we collected so much eelgrass, so many cattails, so much of this and that and the other when we were out on our expedition in the wetlands. And now that we're back home, I'm kind of like, huh, it doesn't go as far as you think it will. I mean, don't get me wrong. This area is looking a lot better underwater than it was because we've got so much more down here already. Do you guys think we should like dig up certain spots? and and put the mud down hmm because we do have some mud blocks but all right Lily and Tate that's enough of tending to this area no fish yet so I may have gotten the type of coral wrong in which case we'll just swap it out for a different coral pretty sure it's the tropicraft coral though all right and yeah that tropicraft coral let me double check there we go yeah, that's the Tropicraft Coral, so if it's going to spawn fish, it'll be that one. All right, and now it's time, it's time, it's time. It's time to get some baby golden chocobo. I'm so excited. Let's pop over to our chest. We should tidy up this area too, that's another goal. Let's dig all of these out so we can trade them, trade them away to the awesome Julia. Oh my gosh, we're gonna put those golden cho the golden ice shells in a very special spot. Pop over here. Hi guys. Hello everyone. Oh, there's a tiger. Oh dear. No, you can't eat them. You can't eat them. There we go. That's better. Oh, there's just a tiger in here. That's no big deal. It's not like it's going to eat our chocobo or anything. All right, Julia. The Julia is the leader of this area. So we're going to go ahead, trade away a few of these things. Yay, gold coins. Yay. We got some more gold coins. Good. See, Geishal farming takes forever, but it's it's an easy way to make some coins if we've got the extra time for it. Why am I doing this individually when I specifically made it so you can trade in stacks? Who knows? Who knows? It's a seriesm. And then the loverly Geishals are still pretty hard to get, but I do end up with a lot of them, so I wanted it balanced. And this is what we ended up with. And how'd it go? Not bad. I think that was pretty balanced. Good, okay, well enough of that nonsense, and I traded away one of our Chocopedias. How many more do we have? A lot. And according to this Chocopedia, 
We need to breed the chocobos. We need to take the black chocobo and the white chocobo. And to enable the offspring to mutate into a golden chocobo, the use of golden geishals is mandatory. So, Tate, this is going to be exciting. All right, here's one of them. Where's the other one? Let's get, let's, I need, I need some fresh safari nuts. Oh yeah, and let's let Sunflower out, jeez. So she can see what's going on. Here you go, Sunflower. There you go, we're gonna have, we're gonna have a sibling for you soon. This is so exciting, Sunflower. I'm so excited. All right, let's put these away. And then I wanna move this white one. This is a white hen. Do we have a handsome, handsome black chocobo male? Nope, just a, a black female, so we'll move the, the black hen over here to this nice, handsome, white male. And then let's double check. That's birch, yep. I just want to triple, triple double check to make sure. Black and white, yep. All right, come back here, sir. I know there's many fine ladies in this establishment, but you are interested in this one. All right, we did it, we did it. We found them both golden chocobos, or golden geishals. <gasps> is it, is it a golden baby? Is it a golden baby? Okay, 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 we got this, we got this, because you can change your ownership. And, Butterfingers, a male no less, and I don't know what kind it is. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is a golden chocobo, I'm pretty darn sure, but I can't be 100% because it's a baby. So it only, it doesn't take very long to grow up, it only takes about 10 minutes to grow up. So we will wait for it to grow up and actually try to get some more geishals. So let's hang on. Julie, Julia, Julia, let's trade you this book too because I've got so many books. And then we'll trade those feathers in a second. Let's go harvest up more geishals. Let me put on my gear because it has been a little bit violent lately at night. And uh, pardon me, everybody. What the heck are you doing over here, Cookie? Oh, that's right. You're the pet. You're the pet over here. I keep thinking it's another escaped bunny. But let's go ahead and harvest up more geishal greens. Because this is very exciting. We might end up. Alright. Lily Tate. Come here. I'm going to make you sit. Tate, sit. Tate, sit. Good boy. Because they tend to jump on these. <laughs> so let's see if we can get two golden geishals. Because two golden chocobo, I mean. Because that would be kind of amazing. Alright. We just need one more golden geishal to be able to get another golden chocobo, too. I'm pretty sure that's a golden one. It just, it's so tiny. It's a little golden chick. I'm so excited. How should we present it to Lubot? <gasps> oh, that's a good question. We could do this be really fun. Maybe that'll be like our present to him when they come, hopefully for like the feast day celebration I want to have. We can introduce him to his new baby. We can trade the ownership. So I will, I will free the chocobo or however the ownership swap needs to go. We will make it work. Any golden, any golden geishals? Ah! That one. It's like, no, I'm a dry patch. You can't plant anything on me. Well, too bad, little dry patch. Because you're about to meet the hoe. There we go. Boom. Oh! Ha! I beat you that time. All right. And then we're going to gather these up. That's actually why I harvest with the... <gasps> it's a second golden geishal! Oh my, oh my gosh! We actually have three! We have three! Holy moly! I didn't even see us pick up that other one. Oh my goodness! Okay, let's keep going. Apparently it is lucky night, lucky golden geishals. Oh my gosh, we could end up with so many babies. So many golden chocobo. Just imagine it. I'm so excited. Alright, there's that. And then, let's see, over here, there's that. I think we only ended up with three this time, but that is far more... I mean, I can, I can do this for days and not get a golden geishal, so that was very lucky. All right, we'll replant all of the little tubers. I like to think they're like potatoes. So it's like you're taking these tiny little tubers and putting them in the ground. Whoops, missed one, pick that up. And then we've got plenty to maybe do a market day pretty soon. I've been meaning to do a market day where we just come in and we buy things from our awesome NPCs and do stuff like that. And at least we've got plenty of geishals to start trading. We might visit with Amber in just a little bit. Make sure the villagers are safe from zombies. Got to get more guards to help protect them. We do have some iron golems that spawned now because we have so many, so many doors. All right, there we go. 
few more geishal seeds, putting the little geishal tubers down, and then we can go see if those two are ready to breed again, because they also have a breeding cooldown time. Are my ducks still in here? Well, my lily sure is, and she's sitting in the water on a lily pad. <laughs> lily is sitting in the water on a lily pad. Isn't that ridiculous? I cannot believe that. What a goose bucket. What a little goose bucket. Oh, she's such a funny girl. All right. Are these guys spawning fish? Not that I can tell. I wonder if it needs to be at a certain depth or something. Maybe it is the wrong coral. At least the ducks are still here. What is that? What is that? It's a werewolf, but he hasn't transformed. Interesting. Yeah, no fish yet, so these might be the wrong coral for spawning. Up oh, now he turned. Look at his glowing red eyes. There's two of them! It's like a werewolf convention. That's why it's so important that we get more, more lamps around here. All right, Lily girl, hang on. There you go. Mom's going to get out of here. Looks like we're going to have to take out some werewolves really quickly. We're having more and more werewolf issues lately. I wonder what that means. But I'm pretty good with these guys now because we've got our skill silver skeleton sword. All right, Lily, don't leave that open. Hey, you! Mm -mm. This is my zoo. My world. Oh, aggressive little things. They're so vicious. So vicious. Yeah, I'm not even... Oh my gosh, there's another one over there. Uh-uh. Lily, did you just set him on fire? Go, Lily girl. Jeez. And the third one. Get away! You guys can smell my baby chocobo, can't you? You're here to try to eat my chocobos. Lily, you are setting... <gasps> Lily is setting him on fire! Wow, Lily, I forgot I gave you that trait. I wish I had a treat for you. You are a good girl. That is so cool. She's setting our enemies on fire. Lily is like, uh-uh. Boom. What an awesome dog. All right, Tate, come here, baby. We're going to go back inside, and we're going to see if that little golden geishal grew up. Golden geishal. Why do I keep calling it a golden geishal? It is not a golden geishal. It is a golden chocobo. All right, we're going to pop these away. The guy shall seeds. We'll trade the chocobo feathers. I'm just going to toss, like, it would be actually nice if we had, like, werewolf rewards where we can turn in the, the iron and the stone stuff and everything. All right, here we go. Did it grow up? Nope, here it is. Still a wee baby. Still freaking adorable. Let me get out another one of my chocopedias and we'll see if it is now time. Is it now time? Can you breed again? Cannot breed. Nope. So can't breed right now, but we've got this adorable little baby. I can't make you grow faster. I wish I could. There, there. Fresh straw all laid down. The chocobo should really enjoy that. That's good. Good job, Tide. How are you doing today? Doing pretty good, it looks like. I forgot how simple these trades are. I'm going to have to flesh them out because we now know how to do that. Sunflower, what do you think? It's a little sibling. It's a little, little itty bitty sibling. Look at it. Oh, it's so cute. It's so tiny. It's a little boy this time too, so it's gonna have it's gonna have the rainbow head feathers like these guys. I actually have a lot of chocobo that could be uh that could be released to the wild or given away, especially these blue boys. I think they're cloning, actually. I have a sneaking suspicion. Noctis, whiskers. Yep, Noctis has cloned himself. I knew it! I knew it! So there's cotton, actually. And you're wild. We've got some wild ones that have ended up in here somehow, too. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Hello, chicken. In fact, chicken, I'm, I'm actually headed uh, to the Meadow of Horses tomorrow at some point, I'm pretty sure. So if you want to join me. Oh my goodness. Well, we're still waiting for the baby to grow up. Got lots of chugabo feathers. Oh, Amy's talking. Oh, no you don't, feather butt. No jumping over the fence on my watch. So she's talking. Oh, it's a beautiful sunrise. That's okay. We can just hop out in the chocobo fields for a little bit. We almost never have time to just unwind in the chocobo fields. You know, clean up all the feathers. Helping them clean up the feathers is actually a pretty fun chore because the chocobos just naturally drop feathers. Yeah, come on. I want you to grow up. Amy, I've got lots and lots of feathers for you. Boom. There's that. Ten more feathers, and she'll trade us again. Oh, yeah, we got to trade with Julie. Julia! 
Let me go ahead, our lovely Geishals, trade those to you. And then I'm going to trade the stack. There we go. And the stack. There we go. And there we go. Yay! We're making in we're making bank. Making bank. Thanks to helping out in the chocobo fields. Can 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 I breed you guys now? Let's see. It would be uh it was this male right here. He can breed. What about the female? Is she ready now? She cannot breed. Ah, uh, cool down time and little baby. Little baby that we have to help him grow up. We gotta keep an eye on him. Okay, well, let's go work on the duck area a little bit more. And we'll see if he grows up anytime soon. I forgot how long it takes. I forget. Like, I need to go and, and rewatch what it was like raising sunflower. Oh, that was so long ago. Alright, duck ducks, I'm back. Back, duck ducks. Let's see if you've got any fish fish. No. So, two theories. Water's not deep enough. And actually, I think that might be the problem. Eh. There we go. Oh, and I'm going to need some water to fix that so that nothing gets pulled and drowned. Ah! Where's my bucket? I don't have any buckets! How embarrassing. Hmm. Do I have a shovel? I do have a shovel. So I'm going to push the coral deeper. I think that might help. Let me pick this up. They're going to need the sand for sure. There we go. And actually, I think it does have to be like a lot deeper. Ooh. I'm going to need to get... Oh my gosh, I'm drowning. Oh, fudge. I'm under a bridge. Oh, jeez. So I think it needs to be like the water has to be a certain depth in order for this to work. So one second. My gosh, so many projects going on all the time because there's so much to do in the zoo. So much to do in the zoo. Actually, I'm going to need you guys, but not the egg. I can put these guys away for a minute now, too. Put you away for a minute. Why not? Um, and the chicken, too. All right, all right, Lily Tate, hang on. Mom's trying to do a little bit of fancy footwork with this coral real fast. Uh, oh, I need a pickaxe. That's what I was going for. I think it needs to be a little bit deeper so we'll just go ahead and make it like yay deep oh my gosh can I get out of here okay yeah just in time so I'll make it this deep there we go and then we'll fill in the side to try to help that out a little bit okay gotta get out of here gotta get out of here gotta get out of here woof there we go. Jeez, drowning is so merciless. Alright, and let's see if that helps. If putting them a bit deeper helps. If we start seeing fish spawn in. That's kind of my theory, is that that coral has to be deeper. So, a little bit, a little bit of work on the slide there. Let's pull out the reeds and the ground cover and just decorate a little bit. Got some bushes. These bushes actually are really nice. And decorate them on the both sides. We'll probably move those ones. Eh, there we go. Just nice plain bushes. They actually add a pretty cool touch. Wow! Okay, thank you! <laughs> Willow tree <laughs> grew right in my face. Jeez Louise, startled me. Yeah, it just looks so boring. Because it's just straight up like that. So I, But I do like the branches on this one. So what we might do is we'll go ahead and we'll get some willow wood and we might just add like a little bit of willow wood right there and maybe like a little bit up here to make it a little thicker. Maybe add more willow leaves to thicken it out. But geez, that willow just grew right under our nose. My gosh. All right, we'll put some on the other side. Let's put some more reeds down. Tate, do you sense any fish? There are fish! And they're struggling right now because the water is pushing them down. So we will come down here with a bucket later and I will fix that. So good. So it just has to be deeper and lower for the fish to be able to spawn. So I'm going to have to do that on this side too. But I've been very careful. I really carefully went through this whole place to make sure that there was even water everywhere where you don't see the extra bubbles that you can see from digging those holes. So I'm going to wait to fix these two and make them go deeper until then so gonna have to wait on that all right lily hang on my dear i hope these cattails grow because they're so cool Ooh, i wonder if we should oh oh now how are you guys going down just fine oh there we go i thought it whoops 
okay, so it just kind of depends on sort of what area you manage to put these reeds down. Interesting. We're learning a lot about the placement of water plants, my pup pups. Kind of put a little little defensive line for our... There we go, our cranberries. Check that out. All right. This is going to be a nice overgrown lake in certain respects. Dang it, Lily! Tate, you guys are not getting the whole the whole lake thing down lately. Because it's supposed to be kind of like a lake where you would find lots and lots of ducks and things. So, lots and lots of reeds. Maybe not too many reeds because now it's starting to look a little bit patchy. I don't know. Actually, it looks pretty good. It's not supposed to be a tidy lake. It's supposed to be a wetlands lake. There we go. I'm still debating. These guys grow. These guys don't. So hang on. Hang on. Whoops. Hang on, Lillian Tate. We've got to check on the, the chocobo again. Hmm, maybe we'll just... I think it's okay if we mix them like this. Like they look okay. Just have to be smart about the mix. Plus, these cattails will grow away from the water. And the other ones will not. So, there we go. Put those down. I'm gonna move these away. Because it looks like maybe they're growing at different heights this way, you know? Okay, nice enclosed area for those. Those duck ducks to enjoy. Let's move these two as well. There we go. And I like the lily pads we're starting to get spread around. And we've got the underwater plants going quite well too. I think that we can say we can safely check this off the list. There's still details and things I want to add in. We still need to add in more freaking ducks in the first place. You guys still doing okay? No one's getting caught under here and drowning, right? How's the fish? We've got one lone fish who's like, help, help. So I will fix that. So it doesn't have to do something with depth for some reason then. You guys aren't caught in the bridge again, are you? You are. What am I going to do with these ducks? I don't even know. Come here. I have to go under the bridge. And then get the duck somehow get the duck. I got it, and I put it right back in. Okay. <laughs> so we might have to modify the bridge, Cinnamon's Memorial Bridge, slightly. And we should probably name tag the ducks, so if they ever decide to drown unexpectedly on us, we will have evidence. Because I only see one duck, but I think that that's okay. Because they tend to pop up when, I, when I'm not looking. And we're starting to make this area look a little bit more uh, thickly wooded. Like a proper lake. I like it. I like it. I do think we need to make some proper willow trees in here, though. I might work on that. Get some custom trees in here. Alright, pop over here. Jeez, Lily and Tate, you guys are just having a hard time with that. Alright, so let's go check, you guys. Let's see if the golden chocobo has grown all the way up. If it is a big chocobo yet. And it is! Look at him! <gasps> we have a full-grown golden chocobo! This is fantastic! Alright! And we can change the owners. Good. His name is currently Butterfingers, but of course Lubot can name him anything he wants. <gasps> New chocobo! Yay! Yay! Alright, and let's see. Can you breed again? She can! Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's get another golden chocobo. And then maybe we can, it'll be a loner for Calf, because I'm going to hold him to it. I told him I'll give him a golden chocobo if he brings me lots and lots of moss. Nope, actually that's a blue chocobo, don't want to breed you. We need this handsome man right here, Birch, right there. Then, okay, you and you. Yes, baby. Yay, and another new baby. Yay, so there we go. We now have two. We came in. Hoping for one, and we ended up with two baby chocobo. And I'm going to sell these extra four chocopedias and put this golden geishel away somewhere safe. Let's tame you. There we go. Is it a little girl or a little boy? Let's find out. Oh, its name is Iris, and it is a little female chocobo. So there we go, sunflower. We now have two new chocobo siblings for you. A girl and a boy. And a chicken. I was like, chocobos don't lay those kinds of eggs. 
that, that totally confused me. But we now have a little girl and a little boy, and I guess we can let the little girl be a loner to Calf if he so wishes to keep up with us and Sebastian's wings get tired. Sebastian seems to get more tired than the birds do, so we have that to rely on. Yay! All right! Oh, what a success! What an awesome success. And you know what that means? Hang on. I've got to, I've got to enjoy this part. Ah, in and out. In and out. We've got two. Two things to check off the list. We've got nothing on this list, but over here, we can check off expanding the duck pond because we have now redone the duck pond. I'm so happy. So we've redone the duck pond and we've bred Lubot's chocobo. Boom. Boom. We're getting things done in the zoo. Getting things done. So much to do in the zoo. We're getting things done in the zoo. So happy about that. Oh, and our beautiful tree of illumination. And we have two amazing new golden chocobo to add to the family. So Lubot and Calf will both have chocobos to use if they so wish. Or if Calfers comes back, I will give the appropriately named Iris chocobo to her. Until then, there's more golden chocobos so we can all fly at the same pace. And I don't outpace Calf by a large margin. But that also means that, to be fair, we should probably tame our wyverns. So that'll be something that we'll do next. In fact, I'll even put it on the list. Not this list, this list. There we go. And then we'll do tame wyverns. And we will tame our wyvern because we want to be able to fly with calf. And maybe there's some situations that our wyverns would be better in. And we also should get Lubot one. So maybe he'll want to go back to the wyvern lair at Dragon's Hold Village with us and tame himself one. It's a wild rodeo. It's a wyvern rodeo because you have to slap the saddle on and hold on for dear life when you do that. And I am getting crowded out by these adorable chocobo. So tomorrow we're going to have a big adventure. And I can't wait to see you guys then. So I'll see you guys later. Please help feed the chocobo by leaving a like. It would be a big favor. And cross your fingers that we will be able to find more ducks. And I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.